Hello, everybody. Whoa, it says I'm live. So I'm just going to go and check and make sure I am. Welcome, welcome. So, you know, I'm trying this new. Oh, it says I'm live. Yay. Okay, so let me go to my VIP group so I can watch it and make and do the comments. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this is okay. I got a new light. So I think I have the light issue fixed. And just let me go here, stop that sound and expand it. Then I can see the comments. Yay. Well, oops. There I am talking again. There we go. Hello, hello, hello. So tell me about the lighting. What do you think? I'm thinking it needs to go up one notch. I got this fancy new light. So you can see it. If you look at me in the, the little side picture, you can see my light. So I'm thinking that this all needs to be lifted up. That's <laughs> it's right in front of me. But anyways, it is what it is tonight. I'm not going to mess around with it. A little dark. Okay. Let me up it again. Okay. I've been playing with the, the light, so it might need a little adjusting. So how is that now? Is that a little better? For some reason, no matter what I do, it, it kind of adjusts itself. Anyways, hello everybody and welcome to my craft room. I have been busy, busy, busy all day getting things set up for Saturday. And I don't like the fact that you can see me in the corner. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Let me just make myself a little smaller. Then I don't have to look at myself big like that. Okay, so I'm getting things ready for Saturday. Still dark on the bottom. Okay, now that has to do with, I don't know what, maybe my light is a bit too high. We'll go with it the way it is. As long as you guys can see, I'll try to keep things up towards the top tonight. So I've been trying to get stuff all set up for Saturday for my virtual launch and I've scheduled it to be in my main Facebook group page but now I'm thinking that I might have to move that because Facebook sometimes gets a little antsy at you if you start posting doing a whole bunch of posts all in one day when you're in a Facebook page so stay tuned I will be I will be um, looking into that this week. So I've still got a few days before I have to make that decision, but I have to ask some gurus that I know what would happen if I did it on my page. So it, it'll either be on the page or it will be in my VIP group. But nevertheless, we're going to make this card tonight. So it's kind of, I used the same papers that we use that I used on Thursday night, the peony garden, because I like it so much. And now because it's retiring, I can actually use it. It doesn't hurt me to use it. Oh, I should have since. Okay, I really need that person to stop messaging me. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to make an envelope tonight too. So this uses the this uses the Dragonfly Garden bundle, which is the stamp set and the punch, the dragon punch. Now I I know they're both in the new catalog, but I don't believe they're bundled anymore. So as of midnight tonight, I can show you the inside of the catalog, but not until then. So just let me let me look this up. 
got to find my, oh, I should show you guys this. Oops. That's my scavenger hunt um, answers. You should not be seeing those. Okay, so can you see these tabs on the edge of my um, catalog? If you want me to send you that file so that you can mark all the important stuff in your catalog, let me know. And I can always put it in the file section too, if I haven't already done so. So I just cut, print them on cardstock, cut them up, and then I can't show you the inside, but I can show you this. So I cut them up and then I just fold them over top of the page so they have printing on both sides. Kind of cool, eh? Dragonfly Garden on page 23, 22. I just wanted to look and see if this is still bundled. It is. So it will still be bundled in... <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody, Val. It'll still be bundled in the new catalog. You can save 10% on the punch and the stamp set. And then I'm using the sentiment from Quiet Meadow, which is quietly becoming one of my favorite stamp sets in the new catalog. Okay. Get my recipe out so I can tell you what I'm using. Okay. I have a thick basic white card base, the usual thick. Thick. A piece of gray granite that's five and a quarter by four. A piece of peony garden designer paper that's five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. A piece of um, basic whites two by three and a half to die cut this out of, and a piece that is two by two and three quarters, and we'll stamp and punch that. This I'm going to cut out of the gray granite layer before I put it onto the card, as long as I remember. And then a piece five and a quarter by four of basic weight on the inside. And I'm using pearls, the dragonfly punch, hippo and friends dies to cut this out, stitch rectangle dies for that. And I'm going to use the dark petal pink just to put a little tiny bit of color in that, in those flowers. And you know what? I just realized this is super, super crooked. What do you think the chances are I can straighten it out? Not tonight. Look at how crooked that is. Ooh, I must have been half asleep when I did that one. Okay. So there's the card. There's the envelope. Here's our kit. Except I don't see any basic white to do the... Why did I do all that? Huh. Oh, and I didn't get my machine. Maybe that's why I did it. I need white to do the dragonfly on. And apparently I've already done the die cutting of that label, but I didn't do the other one. So I need to get my machine out, of course, because, you know, I didn't do that before we started. Okay, so the, the label for the sentiment is the smallest one that's shaped like this. So I'm going to cut it out first before I forget. So that's going to go out of that la layer. So are you all excited about the new catalog launching? I am. Guess who will be staying up late tonight? Because it launches at 11.01 p.m. our time. And if I stay up, I can put an order in or two or a whole bunch. Because I have gotten a few orders from you guys, which I truly appreciate. Okay. This one was cut... Hey, let's put this die away. And I'll get out the die that I did this with. That one. So number three, counting from the center. One, two, three. And of course, I already got that done, so I don't have to do it. Yay! Uh <laughs> 
<laughs> oh gosh. Yes, it's it's an awesome catalog. I my list is like getting longer and longer. It's already about this long. And if you're participating in the paper shares, I'll be ordering those right away. Okay. I want the dragonfly stamp and petal pink ink. Petal pink ink. And we'll just give that a little stamp a doodle. So other than um, it being a little too dark down here at the bottom, tell me about the quality of this tonight. I know I definitely have to lift it up a bit because it's like right there. And it's every time I do this, I'm going to hit my head on it. Okay, I'm going to punch this out with a punch. And the longer you take to line this punch up before you actually push, the better your punched image is going to be. Okay, so that's that. And look, it punched out a little tiny one too. We could put that there. Nope. <laughs> nope, not going to happen. Okay, now let's stamp the sentiment onto the cardstock. Oh, good, good. So I finally, maybe I finally got it right. Pardon, pardon my head. I want to see if I can get this relatively straight. Well, that's a bit crooked, but that's okay. The original was crooked when I put it together. Okay, so that's that. Okay, now I'm going to get out my dirty paper. One thing I do have to do, though, is when I was on that thing on the weekend, um, we had a Vancouver Island demonstrator event this weekend. We had like a hundred and, what was there, a hundred and... 19 or something of us got together and it was really cool because Sarah our CEO actually came live and did a stamping presentation for us talk about gobsmacked that she would actually do that we were so impressed and it was so much fun Okay, stamping this in gray granite, like that. Anyways, what was I saying? Something about the weekend. Oh, I know what it was. The only thing is now I have to watch on my tablet because I can't see you on my phone. Oh, oh, um, how come that would be? Because the picture should be the same size, Norma. Anyways. So one of the ladies says she puts Velcro underneath her, her mat so it doesn't scoot all over the table. Now, is that not brilliant or what? So that's the next thing I have to conquer is the fact that my mat scoots around. So I've just tucked it underneath my computer and my stand for now. So I'm using dark petal pink just to add a little bit of color to the flower heads. I'm not making sure they're all colored. It's just little bits and I'm not, that's it. That's all I'm doing. I don't want to add, add any more color. I kind of wanted it to be a monochromatic. Okay, duochromatic, is that a word? Duochromatic? I guess it is now. It says square and cuts you off in the corner. Oh. Well, you don't need to see me anyways, do you? <laughs> I wouldn't want to see me. Okay, I'll stick some adhesive on this and layer it onto... This card doesn't even have any ribbon on it. It has some pearls, but it's one of those understated, elegant cards that 
you don't have to add a lot to because it the papers say it all. Okay, and that goes on there. I will layer this on too. I have to show you the cards I got in the mail today. Because having a birthday is kind of cool. I'm getting so many cards. And I'm excited because some of them are new stuff and I can use it. I'm figuring out which way I want it to go. Hmm. This way, I think. Oh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, I'm going to do a special live birthday party thing. Hi, Maria. Oh, yeah, well, sometimes it's nice to see me and sometimes I don't know. Anyways, so tomorrow night, I'm going to do some live stamping at 8 o'clock. We'll have a party. I've got it set up on Zoom. So you can join me on Zoom or you can watch the live stream here to my Facebook page. I don't know what we're doing yet because I haven't got anything prepped, but I will be. I will by tomorrow. We'll do something with something new because, of course, tomorrow the new catalog goes live. Ooh, I'm so excited. And so all the retired stuff will be out of my craft room. You should see my spare room. It's where did my little ones go? I'm looking for my little. I lost my little dimensionals. Where did they go? Really? Uh oh. Oh well, I don't know where they are. I'll just get another package out. My spare room. Aw, hello, Cameron. You're so cute, dude. Oh, Heather, can you tell? Frog, don't talk frogs. What a mean thing to do to me. Maria sent me a video of a frog. I did not watch it. I must confess, I did not watch it. The picture alone was enough. So, Heather, can you tell James that when he has nothing else to do, we need some more barbecue sauce as we use the last of his sauce tonight? So, tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. The Zoom link will post tomorrow and we'll get together and we'll do some crafting. Uh-oh, look, look, I smudged. Oh, well, pardon my head. I'm just going to stick this on. It's on dimensionals. You know that I really, it's fine. Leave it. It's fine. Let it go. Yeah, so my spare room has all my retired stuff in it now. There's two tables full of stuff in there. Got things all laid out and bundled together. And I got these for some of the, hang on. Oh, avalanche. Uh-oh, avalanche. Ah. So, you know, I make these for all, most of the dies that I use. So I pulled out the old ones and put them with um, the dies that they belong to. Of course he did really good batches. His barbecue sauce is amazing and it's sugar free. So if anybody wants the recipe or you want him to make you some, I'm sure he would make you some and then charge you a nominal fee for the ingredients because he's a really good he's a really good cook and he's doing um car detailing now it's actually snake loving friend what cameron did it Oh, it's got lots of vinegar in it, Maria. You wouldn't like it. Okay. So I'm just going to let this dry, my Tombow on there, while I stamp the inside. 
Apparently, I didn't get an inside piece either. So when I said wrote myself a note that said kit is complete, I lied. Bizarre. So James has also started um, car detailing. And he does a, he's OCD like his grandma, so he does a really good job. Okay, so this I'm going to stamp on here, just like that. There we are. Okay, Valerie, shall we sponge around the outside? <laughs> I have the recipe. He gave it to me, but only so I would have it here so when he comes here, he can make me, because it's not like I'm going to make it. That's his job. Okay, and as of tomorrow, no more sponges. They're retiring. So now I have to use daubers. So I'm just putting gray granite around the outside. Just a little bit. I might have to still continue to use my sponges. Because this does a totally different job. So I, there, as far as I know, there isn't anything in the new catalog or that's new in the catalog that is not available. I think they got everything in. Now, there is a couple of things on low inventory list which means it'll go backward for a bit. But that's okay. Um, so far, so good. They've had such issues getting product from the countries that create it. All right, so we'll put this in here because of the shipping. There we go. Now we'll put the dragonfly on here and I put dimensionals on his wings and um, pop folded his wings up so when I put him on here he's going to his body is going to go flat and then the wings are going to stay popped up and the closer you put the closer you put your dimensional to the body the higher your wings will be did you know that okay It's uh, petal pink, Shannon. Petal pink. I love gray granite and petal pink together. So just adding some winky. Because you know, card's not finished till you add the wink of Stella. Oh, you should see the new pansies when you put um, wink of Stella around them. Stunning. And then I'm going to put a little bit on each of the flower heads. There you go. Oh, I missed a flower down there. Apparently, got this one up a bit higher than the other one. So we'll just put some color down there too. And, of course, some Wink of Stella. There we go. Ta-da! Pearls. How soon can we place club order out of the new catalog? Ah, club. Let me check the date that our club is. Our June club is the 9th. And May has 31 days. So I can't do the host code until after the 11th. No, wait, that's wrong. That's wrong because it's not when the club date is. It's when the club order has to be in. So let me check that too. May the 26th. Oh, I should have gotten it done already. So I'm going to make a note. Hang on. I'm finding a sticky. 
I am finding a sticky. And I'm going to make myself a note. Do June Club Post Code. Okay, I'll do it and get it out no later than noon tomorrow. And then you can go anytime. You're welcome, Shannon. Oh, and Shannon, your goodies are going to be here Thursday, I think. So Shannon was the one that popped me over um, to earn the Stamping Up Incentive trip. So she got a $50 shopping spree from me to say thank you. Okay, so we're going to put some pearls on here. And I think that one's going to go on there. There we go. Those away. Because now I have to make the envelope. So the treasure hunt for my open house will post on Thursday. So you can look for that. I'll give you a little bit of time before the... Um, Catalog launch happens on, no, it'll post on Friday. Did I say Thursday? I think I did. It'll post on Friday. So you'll have a little bit of time to uh, go through the catalog and do your, um, I can't see the fold on this paper. A little bit of time to do your treasure hunt before my catalog launch goes live on Saturday at 1. So stay tuned for that. I think I have it queued up for about noon on on um, Friday. I did all my scheduling today for all of that stuff. Now, now when I find out that I have to do it inside my group, then I'm going to have to go and do it all over again. You will ex expect a postcard. For what? It's come your stuff is coming here. I didn't have it shipped direct to you. If that's what you're talking about. <laughs> or a postcard. Oh, I see. <laughs> Shannon, it takes me a while to catch up to some of the thoughts. <laughs> I get it. Um a postcard from the cruise is what you're saying. Uh-huh. Well, I may or may not be going on the cruise. Just the fact that I qualified for it is amazing. But now the thing is, I know my trip. It, Maria, it takes me a while. Like, you know, sometimes the brain cells aren't functioning on all five cylinders. Now I have to decide if I really want to go in a floating cesspool of germs in May of 2022. I guess it's all going to depend on whether um, COVID is completely gone or not. I know my husband's not going. He's already said there is no way he's going. I don't think he enjoys cruises. So I don't know. We'll see. It's still a long way out. Still a long way out. But... I qualified. I earned the trip four months earlier than I did last year. So, and it's the earliest I've ever earned it. And I am so grateful. Between my fantabulous team and my awesome, super awesomeness customers, there's my card. Quick. I, I, so many people say quick and easy. Thanks, Janet. Um, I don't like saying quick and easy because although it is, you still have to take time to do it and you still have to come up with it. So once you get it done, it is duplicatable. You can probably whip 20 or 30 of these off, which reminds me, maybe I will just 
keep this one for when my sister needs her thinking of you cards. It would be perfect for her. Great idea. Okay, now let's see. Um, wait, I'm missing. <laughs> I'm missing something here. You should do a draw for a cruise, buddy. <laughs> ah. oh, yes. Uh huh. <laughs> I think there would be a fight. I really, I honestly, well, we'd have to do a lottery or something. I am allowed to take somebody with me. The second person can be anybody I choose. And then I can also buy people in to stay in the room with me. And then people can also come in different, um, in a different room. So maybe we just have to have one coming with me and two extras in the room. Thanks, Holly. It is, it's very pretty. And it all has to do with the colors because petal pink and gray granite go really well together. And when I, when we first got gray granite, I thought, oh, yuck, I'm not going to be using that color. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> There's Louise going too. <laughs> Uh, Ted would probably really enjoy staying at home with the boys. Yep. Okay, so I got some more cards. Got some more cards. Who's this one from? Oh, this one's from Sharon. Look at this. Look how gorgeous this is. Okay, I need to go over here so I can make sure I've got this. Look at that. This uses the new um pansy, pansy patch stamp set, the pansy dies. This is pansy designer paper. Some new colors and the new dragonfly. Now, did you know that you can, um, you can emboss those? I haven't tried it yet, but one of the videos that I have for you on Saturday um, by my team member, Shanna Miller, she says that you can emboss them and she's embossed hers. So I'm going to have to give that a try. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Thanks, Sharon. And this one, this one's from Valerie. Valerie Barker from here in town. Look, she did that. Have you tried this technique yet? This is the um, vellum stampin' blends and 99% rubbing alcohol. Is that not stunning? I was playing with this last night. Where did I put my pieces? If I can find them, I'll show you. I don't remember where I put them. I know I put them in a bag somewhere. Anyways, it's really fun. And then inside, she put a strip of it at the bottom. Isn't that a gorgeous card? I love it. And free stamp from Canada Post. This one is from Judy in Tofino. Uses the um, Forever Fern suite and some retired um, clear something or other they were called. I love them. That's a really cute card. Is that not amazing? Look at the gold. There's something about those greens with the gold. And in two and a half hours, these will cease to exist. Thanks, Judy. It's awesome. And then this one is from Laura Buchler, um, a fellow demonstrator from Vancouver Island. And she used the art gallery stamp set to create that beautiful card. Love, love, love the ribbon and the designer paper too. It's awesome. So those were in what was in my mailbox today, along with a couple more from my swap that I can't show you because those are for my open house on Saturday. Oh, now you guys can see me when I, when I yawn. 
Um, oh, I was going to see if I could find what I did with the paper. I'm sorry. Now when you stand up, you see my big butt. So I was playing around last night with this. I have to move this. We'll use this because you have to have it on top of some white for it to actually show up. So let's get rid of this out of the way. Look at that. And that was Night of Navy and Cinnamon Cider. And it doesn't matter which side you use because they're both so pretty. There's, there's a few techniques, a few different ways to do this technique. Then I did this one and it was too wet and it all ran in the center. So then I thought, well, I can't use it anyways. So then I put more color on it and used some more um, rubbing alcohol and did it all over again. I did discover that you can redo these like if you don't get enough um, alcohol on them, you can put more alcohol or you can add more color in in places that you didn't get it. But look at this one. I don't know whether you can see, but where those those dark patches are, those are actually shiny. It's kind of like they're foiled, but they're dry because I did this last night. So this side up, you'd get the, the shiny in there. And this side, you wouldn't get the shiny. I love them. And every single one of them is different. This one didn't turn out too good. Got too much um, rubbing alcohol on it. But this was just, um, not this brush, but you, I just took up a, a paintbrush piece of vellum you scribble on your Stampin blends take a paintbrush and just do this and blop some blobs on now there is different ways to do that um, you can put your rubbing alcohol on and then take a straw and blow the the color where you want it this one turned out really cool because it's got lots of those shiny bits on there. Look at that. The new colors. See, and here you can see that really defined ink because I did not get any um, uh, rubbing alcohol on that. <laughs> oh, maybe that's what we'll do on the 24th. Is it 24th, 23rd? 23rd, the free class. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just play with a whole bunch of these instead of making a card. So this one, I used gray granite and Knight of Navy and Seaside Spray, I believe. I did write a whole list of the things that I used. And then this was my last one. I really like this one. But I've seen people take make these and then stamp um, a flower on there and emboss it in gold and then um, die cut it and use them as colored flowers. This blue one, yeah, this one turned out really cool. So I'm still going to play a little bit more because, you know, I have lots of vellum. So if you are wanting to learn how to do this and you don't have vellum, when you put your order in, get yourself some vellum because you can't do it without vellum. When we had ladies in the attic years ago, we did this using contraband. Yes, um, you can do it on um, shiny, what, glossy cardstock is what they call it, but it's it turns out different. It is fun. It's fun. So Maria, um, did you drop it on with a paintbrush or did you blow it on or did you spritz it on? How did you put the, 
this one, Holly? How did you put the um, rubbing alcohol on? Photo paper, yeah, photo paper. But did you? How did you put the rubbing alcohol on? I want to try it in different ways, and you have to use um, ninety-nine percent rubbing alcohol. The thirty percent doesn't work. So all of the above. You just played, yeah. So that's what we can do on the 23rd. Get yourself some vellum, some um, Stampin' Blends, and 99% alcohol. And then uh, I'll show you the brush I used. Come here. you. So this is the brush that turned out being the best. I used this one, and it was, it was too big. And I used this one, and it was too small. So then I found this white one and it worked just perfectly. Oh, and then I tried this, this one. This is one that, the, you know, you get in a kid's um, paint by number thing at the dollar store. Um, it's cardstock weight vellum, Janet, the stuff we sell in the catalog. This one would, had way too much ink on or rubbing alcohol on it. So get a straw as well. And um, I haven't tried the spritzer, but I'm going to try the spritzer. So you might want to have a spritzer. And then I just have a little plastic or glass container that to put the rubbing alcohol in and in a well-ventilated room, because you will get loopy. But, <clears throat> so that's what we'll do on the 23rd. Yay, that's all sorted and done. And I don't have to prep anything because we'll just play. If I get time between now and then, I will make a card out of one of these so you can see. But we'll just play with the with the um, the technique. Does that sound good? Okay, so tomorrow night, let's decide what we're doing tomorrow night. How about how about um, how about quiet meadow? And then the meadow dies. Because I want to try, I want to try this, doing this with foils. Now I know our two love foils are retiring. Toothbrush spritz is, ah, oh, toothbrush. I got one of those. Yes. Have to remember that um the true love foils you know the one that comes in rococo rose and petal pink and sahara sand they're still available because that they're in the mini and the mini still going till the end of june but i want to try these die cuts out of um foils and maybe put it on shimmery white or use um, the ombre specialty paper. So tomorrow night, we'll play with that one. And it's a Zoom thing. And so we can interact. If you have cake, bring a piece of birthday cake. Grab a, grab a coffee or beverage of your choice. Wine, you can have wine too because you don't have to drive anywhere. Oh, okay, that light. I'm trying to figure out the lighting in here again. That's not going to work because then it just shows more in my picture. No. Okay, I think it has to go up higher. But that's okay. That's okay. All right, ladies. So anybody got any questions about the catalog that goes live tonight at 11 o'clock? This catalog, I can show you the, I can show you the, um, the covers. Now, also, the kits are coming. Stamping Up is doing some kits, and they'll be available in June. 
no Facebook tomorrow. I can clean room while I watch and listen. You can. Yes. Yeah, I'll stream it live just like I normally do. Valerie, I'll put it on stream it as we do. Facebook and Zoom TV. <laughs> yeah, Facebook and Zoom TV tomorrow night, 8 o'clock. Playing with Quiet Meadow and some fancy papers. I might have a chance to create a card between now and then, or we might just wing it. I haven't decided. It depends on how my day goes tomorrow. Because I need to get to the post office tomorrow because I made a... Oh, I should show you. Hang oh. Hang on. I gotta go and get it. So my sister asked me to make Oh no. Don't miss my party. My sister asked me to make a sympathy card for her because she's a veterinarian and her vet assistant's dog passed away last week. And the dog has spent many hours at the clinic all day, every day. So they're, they're kind of not having a good time of it right now. And you remember that card I made um, that I said I was going to send her? It was the... the um, with the suit and tie dyes it was out of the puppy paper and I made a puppy one and a kitty one. Well, I sent it to her and darned if it didn't arrive on the day that this puppy passed away. So she said it brightened her otherwise horrible day. So she said, can you make me a sympathy card? So this is what I came up with. Isn't that cute? Well, it's not cute. So this is the dog. His name was Charlie. He was 12. That's not very old. Border Collie. And then I just put a bunch of hearts on the inside. <laughs> so that's what I came up with. But it was supposed to go in the mail today and it didn't. And I feel bad because I told her it would be. So I have to go to the post office tomorrow. I don't have any choice. So that means, um, Maria, that bundle of yours will be in the mail tomorrow. And Valerie, your your bundle that you got for placing an order for my birthday special. That'll be you know Valerie chose the what was it called? Berry Burst Bundle. So that'll be in the mail to to you tomorrow too. Thanks. All right. Well, thanks, ladies. It's been lovely spending time with you in my craft room. I'm glad we're getting slowly getting my video and stuff. Now, tell me about the distance of me. Like, I, I'm going to lift this up a bit, but it's not going to change because I'll just zoom in on it. But the the distance that you can see physically see me in the corner, is that too close, too far away? Other than having this horrible thing right in my face all the time. All right. So tomorrow night, eight o'clock. Oh, good. Okay, we'll go with it. Thank you for your input. We'll see you tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Oh, Janet, you're very welcome. It's my pleasure. Can't see me at all. <laughs> you're the lucky one, Holly. <laughs> I am little. But, you know, I have control over that. But it's not like you need to see me when you can be seeing the cards. Because I can make myself bigger. It's really cool. The sides have big edges. Oh, well, hang on. Hang on. 
I'm waiting for my, there we go. See, I can make me bigger. You don't want to see me that big though. I'll just go a little tiny in the corner again. I guess it all depends on, on what device you're looking at me on. So thanks so much, ladies. On the tablet, you can't see me. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> yeah, well, I made myself little again because you don't need to see me. Okay, ladies, thanks so much. I will catch you tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Stamp and smiles. Bye.